Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Pisces. For love and relationship. For the month of May Dear Pisces, you keep blocking yourself, blocking yourself from, they say here that you block yourself from your gift, from yourself, from being happy. You block yourself like, you know, as you, you want to end situations, you want to really like, you know, not really progress with someone. There is, there is a disappointment or a full disappointment with someone here that he or she cannot be really committed, fully committed to you. You keep really like a feeling that maybe I should really block this person, walk away from that person. I don't want to deal with him or her. And you keep being hurting. You don't want to progress with things. This person, I get here that they are trying to give you attention and help you and be there. This person like no really like to just uh, stand up for you sometimes. They want to call you suddenly out of the blue. And I get here, they know that you cut it off with him or her, they disappoint you because they disappoint you. They know that the, they did disappoint you. But this person, I get here trying to reach out again. This person trying to be really coming back in the picture again. But since you are not really progressing with your person, he or she keep being hurting and disappointed with you that you stopped on him or her. But they keep trying. They come to you. It says here that with these fights and arguments between us, I cannot really like to you know, just be reliable or committed. So is, if he or she is not really like you know, being consistent in seeing you, it's just because they feel that you are really upset all the time and they don't want to be really like you know, just coming in the picture because they don't want to have any hard time. They want to be happy with you and they want you to show their happiness to this person. But if you are kind of like, you know, just off edge because he or she could be really having someone else in their life. Um, it makes you believe that cut it off with someone. I don't want you to be really acting or being like, you know, with that person. This person might really call you, text you, and everything like you, know, but you are not really answering or responding. This person block you from the calls sometimes because you keep really like you know, just arguing or saying things that he or she doesn't want to hear. But they unblock you again and come to you. And they want really you to be like you know, responding in a very nice way. Hmm. You want your person, you want them to be really coming to you, but you want a balance. You want this person to approach you with the right approach. They don't want this person like, you know, to keep really coming to you, maybe dealing with someone else. Yes, you have every right like, you know, to ask for that, but you become undecided back and forth. Shall I do something different? Shall I turn the table around with something else? Shall I keep really like, you know, just... For some of you also, like, you know, I see that you light candles or you might really, like, you know, want uh, to heal situation, uh, remove negative, or it could be, like, you know, making a spell to return to this person. And the only thing that you need to do, that you need to understand your person, why they are doing this to you. And I get here, if your person involved with someone else before in the past, long time ago, and they know them before you, you should understand this if they have family and kids. But... If you are a person who is involved with that person, 
and they broke up with someone and you have the family and the kids with that person right now it feels like you know, that you have every right like you know, to speak up to yourself and I get here your person keep want to return too many signs he or she want to call you they are calling already they want to enter your life they want to return to you they want happiness they want excitement they want fun they want a good time and I get here they know that you want marriage but in the same time it feels like you know, to him or her they are undecided back and forth yet about that marriage situation why we want to know why we don't want to be just reading like you know, the cars and say he think she think we want to understand the whole situation where your person is coming from your person keep being disappointed because you keep disappointing him or her and yourself with love and they want you to be real, like you no know, healing. They want that healing process between you two, the love to be mutual. But every once in a while, like you, know, you step up and say something, you are irritable. Like you, know, you think there is something fishy going on. But there is another person who is really trying to damage their relationship for you. And you feel like you know, it is their fault completely. No. Well, you know, that person or the a third party is not really a good person. And I tell you honestly, they are against you and they are try stabbing you in the back, you know, not literally, but in a way. It feels that, you know, you can win your person and you win over the third party if you keep really like, you know, you yourself, like, you know, to be con communicating with your person, like, you know, the communications to be like, you know, on the highest level, uh, with pleasure, with love, with... Uh, like, you know, just to be, like, you know, nice and sweet and kind to the love that this person's sharing with you. And I get here, you become iffy, you become mad and angry with your person, and you keep really, like, you know, throwing rocks on your person, and they, they will start really throwing rocks on you. Not literary also. This is, like, you know, just saying. You throw, like, you no know, really, like, you know, just all of this really talk and, and being mad and angry, that person like you no know, just return it to you like you know, in a way that you say f off you f off I, I hate you I hate you too but it's not really the meaning of hate or or all of this like you know, they want to be rewarded for the love that they share with you and you want to be rewarded also with the commitment but it says here that your person keep really saying that why you keep really like you know, destroying every single time, destroying the relationship between us by becoming like you no know, really so, go to that person. Are you with him or her? Are you doing this? Are you doing that? It just is making everything like you know, overwhelming. I know you cannot help it but because there is something does exist there, but if you want to win over the third party, you always need to be really more pleasant and make your person really happy and enjoy the happiness between you two, you win over the other person because the other person will keep being like no really uh, bringing up like no really the fights and the arguments. This is when the other person will, will lose because your person will walk away from you when you are when you are mad and angry and stubborn and you don't listen. The other the third party will win because they are the one who's really like not trying to really uh, bring up the love and the happiness in their life and enjoy the family altogether. You don't win by fighting and arguing. It's going to reflect bad on the relationship between you two and you keep hurting. You say, why me? Why I have been chosen like not to be really in this situation? Why my person is not responding to me? Why they don't respond to you? Because of your attitude. You have to change it. You have to start really like, you know, just being happy. This person is coming around you and you, it makes you happy that p this person is trying harder with you to come to you. <coughs> but you don't want only like, you know, a touch relationship. I agree with you. It's not supposed to be like that. And by the way, it's the other person like no fault if he or she is dealing with a third party. They should not. It says here this person approached you with the right approach, but the time hasn't been ripe yet for them to be like 100% you know, perfect with you. But there is a positive new beginning. They want you. But I get here since you are like you know, being mad and your person keeps saying, okay, he or she keep really being mad at me. 
and I don't really know if I want really like to continue with this, maybe I should just decline the relationship. And you feel like, you see, they don't want me. Uh-uh. Communicate better is better for you. It says here that you are in control. You got the relationship. Hmm. And you feel like you, know, you have a child together. You could be like you know, having children together also. I get the relationship. You get the relationship. You are. You want to win. You want to win or act like you know, really with your person like you know, for you to have this. Your person is committed to you, but they haven't said that to you yet. You have the upper hand. You are the one. They, he or she prefer you. But you keep doubting and you keep arguing, but you are lucky no matter what. Because no matter what you did, this person is keep coming to you. See the argument and the doubt here and the conflict? But you are lucky. Means that whatever you did, whatever you said is going to be forgiven and let go. You see the light that the other person is really like in letting go one. And it's stressing you out because you are freaking out that your person is going to choose the other person. You want the change immediately, right now. Give your person time. He or she will choose. And it says here you are the one. Here we go. It's right in front of you. You got the relationship and the marriage. You are the one. Your person thinks that you are cheating on them. See how they are really looking here? They feel that you might be cheating, you might be really having someone else. Because they know you love them so much, you are in love with him or her. And as soon as you reject him or her, or reject intimacy, or reject anything, they think and assume that you might be really cheating on them or someone else. Maybe like you know that they saw a message, you are writing a message to somebody or calling somebody, and they assume right away that you are with that person, which is it's not true, you are not with someone else. Like this is him or her assuming, and they feel like you know that they are protective over you. She's mine, like you, Pisces, she or he is mine. That's your person saying. Their ego is in the way. Like, you know, how dare you? Okay, well, how dare he or she because they have someone else. <laughs> you can't, they can. It says here that your person isolates you, but they, are, they keep really coming back to you. They come back to you. They come back to you because they want a relationship. So it seems to be like you know, sometimes fights and arguments have happen for a reason. And you become tough suddenly and you become stubborn with that person. But what happens here that it comes for your benefit. And I get here your person afraid that you are cheating on him or her. I get the fear again here. And I get here they have been really selfish with you. They wanted you, but they wanted another person also. And I get here that there is so much worry that you are going to destroy everything 100%. And you are not going to respond to your person in any way. So they are really worried about that. But it looks to me that it's going to be resolved for your own good. Because when I see this, you get the marriage, you get the relationship, you are the one. That's your person think this. And they have a good intention for you. They want to be in your life. They want to be helping you. This is someone that who has been really involved with the relation, another relationship or he has been, uh, been married or he or she can be married already but kind of like on and off separation from the other person. And it sounds like you know, that this person wants to be with you no matter what. Best of luck for you, do, uh, for you dear Pisces and if you need a private reading, please contact me and the link for my website is below this video. Um, mysticalaziza.com. This is my website. 
and after you click on uh, click on reading prices is on the right upper hand of your of the page and uh, after purchasing your reading please give me a call and my phone number is listed on my website please please like no look at my business hours because i am in the pacific time and um, i do not work saturday and sunday thank you so much for watching bye bye